this is Holly again. Today I thought we would do focus on priorities. So priorities are what you want to accomplish, not only like right now, today, but by the end of the day, by the end of the week, by the end of the month, I want these things to happen. Um, there is a, a tool, lack of a better word, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Okay, so the very first basic need is food, air, water, sleep. Okay, so if you don't have water or food, you're not going to be worried about the next level of things, which is economic resources, family, health, self-security. Without air, you don't really care about food even, you just want air. So and it's that's one of those things, so it builds one level upon the next that you can have this, these things are okay. I know that I have food and water. I have a place to sleep. I have air. So then um, you can build on it one level upon the other. So if you don't have the very first best basic level, you're not gonna be really worried about um, morality and prejudice and acceptance because you want food, water, and a place to sleep. Okay, so here, the um, first level is the red level, and it's air, water, food, or sleep, excretion, homeostasis, sex. Those are all basic human needs. The second level is economic resources, family, health, and self-security, and that's the safety section. The third level is belonging, friendship, family, intimacy, and that's the relationship part where, you know, you have friends, you can talk to friends, you can go through, um, express your, your real self to these friends, not just random strangers. Passing strangers on the street, although that does have some like neighborhood community connection. Okay, um, the, the fourth level is esteem, so that's self-esteem, confidence, and respect, that you feel valued and um, worthy. And the very last level is the self-actualization level, and that acceptance. So that you've moved into this that you can see everybody has value. Everybody should be able to be accepted. Um, we do have a certain responsibility and morality to you know, protect young children from, say, sex trading. Okay? And that's, um, again, if you haven't built those lower levels, the top level is not going to be your priority. So with everything going on right now, I know that um, even on myself, last week I told you, I'm like, learn something, you know, use this time for, for what you want to gain. But if you don't feel like your basic needs are being met on that orange level of economic resources, family, and health, um, that's also finances, economics. So if you have lost your job and whatever programs your country may or may not be offering are either in the works or going to get there, you don't know. You don't know how it's going to look. You don't know how it's going to work. You don't know. Um, if your rent is going to be marked down or if your home mortgage is going to be taken care of or if your vehicle loan is going to be paid for. I've seen some of those programs starting to be offered, but we don't know from day to day what, what's going to happen. What do I need to focus on? What should I pay first? What, what you know, should I worry about this? Should I not even care about that? You know, my credit card bills, uh, what, what do I do pay first? So with the, um, what I want to talk about today was prioritizing and figuring out what what you need to do now. Um, sometimes it's good to sit down with pencil and paper, write out a budget, um, put stars next to the things that you could ignore. Uh, you know what I mean? Try to pick the ones with the least you know severe consequences. Um, get on the internet, maybe do some research. They've waived student loan um, here in Canada. They've waived student loans for for the next six months, September, I don't I, something like that. But um, you can look up online, try to find what's happening. I know Ford said that they will do three payments for you and they'll waive three payments for a Ford vehicle. Um, some of the banks are starting to say that they will um, waive a mortgage payment or some they'll do something with the interest. So get out there and look and see what programs you, there are are in your place and see how they're going to affect you, see how, what you can prioritize around them. Because like, well, I don't have to pay student loans. Well, I don't have to pay for my Ford vehicle. Great, you move along, you know, you, you can pay your rent, you can buy groceries. Um, 
one of the other things is maybe eat what you have in the house. Yeah, it's not wonderful food, but you know, usually we have some pasta and beans in the back of the cupboard and we've ignored them because they're not super exciting, but you know what? They are food. They will feed you. They are, you know, fairly nutritious food. Um, focus on that. So I guess what the thing is, is, is set aside time, take the time to sort through what you're going through and come to terms with it make it make sense to you um, talk with if you have a spouse um, partner talk with them about it maybe you can divide it up i'm going to take care of groceries i'm going to dig out all the cupboards figure out what we actually have in groceries we're going to make a list and we're going to figure out what the very minimum things we can buy to make what we have in the cupboards work for us for right now um i'm still working thank god uh, my husband has been laid off, but again, it's one of those, if you feel like you know what you're doing, you're in control of the situation rather than it's just happening to you and you have no choices and no, no way to deal with it or respond to it. Cause you can't like tell what's going on to stop. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like that, like a, a dog, you put the dog outside, the dog's being a pain in the ass in the house. Um, we don't really have that option. So we need to be able to get it broken down chunk by chunk figure out what we need to do for each chunk you know financial life grocery life um prioritize what we need but also make sure that you're spending time doing some fun things go outside and garden go for a walk um stay in a green space for a while i know you may have noticed i always have plants in the background of my video because green space is just so peaceful and restoring um but sorting through what's going on how you can respond to it and overcome it so that you know what you have and don't have and what you need to work on getting or figuring out a way around using or getting that piece of it Okay, so I guess the biggest thing I wanted you to take away from this is step back, take some time, sort through what you're feeling. If you feel lost and stranded, um, you need to first sort that out before you can go on to, I'm in a green place and, you know, I have a lovely food meal. It, it, again, it's, and certain people will freak way out more about one category than the other. So figure it out what it is that you need to sort in your own brain. And sometimes you just don't know the answer. But, you know, I've worked at this. I've worked at my budget, tried to figure out what I need to do for this month. I'm going to pay this thing and this thing, and I'm going to have to ignore that thing and that thing. But I sat down and thought about this, and that's the best plan that I could come up with. And, and right now, sometimes there just isn't going to be a super wonderful, yay, rosy picture plan. There's just going to be a, I've made it through this month and I'll deal with whatever happens next month, next month. Okay. So I will put the slide up again so that you guys can see that. Um, it's, it's, it's a t tough time. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good because I am still working. My husband qualified for EI because he hasn't been off work forever. So um, he's going to be getting the EI package here in Canada and I'm still working. So we're going to be okay. But we are still thinking about, you know, priorities. You know, well, what can we do to make it better, easier, maybe even for other people? Touch base with other people. Remind them to take the time to sort through their feelings. Don't just keep going scrambling day to day to day. That's not gonna get you to a good place you're just gonna keep scrambling sit down do some sorting figure some things out it'll be okay it'll work out um all the best to you and i will see you again next week thank you bye